welcome to Frederick County Public Library's Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. From September 15th to October 15th, we will be celebrating the contributions and culture of Hispanic Americans through a variety of virtual programs. Thank you for joining us today. Today's program will be all about making a delicious snack. Tortillas and tortilla chips. If you watched our previous program on how to make guacamole, which you can find in our Facebook videos or on our YouTube page, this will be the perfect snack to go with it. Let's learn how to make some tortilla chips. We're gonna take our instant corn flour. In this case, we are using maseca. And we're gonna take one cup, one level cup of that and pour it into our mixing bowl. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna add just a little bit of the three quarters cup of warm water that we have. And you're not gonna pour this water all at once. We're gonna really just be pouring it little by little until the texture of the dough is at the correct point. As you can see, it was still very crumbly. So we added a little bit more water. And then we're just mixing it in. And as you can see, even though the dough is sticking a little bit, it's still very crumbly on the inside. The surface is still pretty cracked. So we're adding more water into our dough mixture. And the dough should feel like wet clay in your hands. It should also start pulling away the flour from the edges of the bowl. If you press your thumb into it, there should be a clean divot with no breaks or cracks in the surface and that's when you know that your dough is ready. You're gonna leave your dough inside your bowl for about 10 minutes, and that's just gonna give it time to hydrate. And here you can see our setup. We've got a cooling rack, we've got our pan, we've got our tortilla press, and we've got our dough in our mixing bowl. So you're gonna take about a golf ball sized of dough and put that off center in your tortilla press. And as you can see, we're using a Ziploc bag that's been cut in half and that just gives us a smoother surface, so it makes removing the tortilla a lot easier. If you do not have a tortilla press, you can go ahead and use two plates. So you're gonna still take that golf ball sized amount of dough, put that in the middle, Cover it with your Ziploc bag and then just put weight on the top plate until the tortilla has been flattened out and then you can go ahead and start putting your tortilla in the pan to cook. We've just finished cooking our first tortilla, so we've moved it over to the cooling rack and we've got our second tortilla on the pan on high heat. In the meantime, we're going to continue taking our dough and separating it into golf ball sized pieces of dough. You can go ahead and start flattening them as well, just be careful not to stack them together um, so that way they don't stick together. And then you can go ahead and end there and you will have made some lovely tortillas or you can continue the process and take those tortillas, stack them up and cut them into your preferred size for a chip. We cut our tortillas into 1 8 pieces.
and then you're going to take those pieces and just layer them onto a baking sheet. You're going to take that baking sheet and put it into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. We hope you enjoyed today's program all about making tortillas and tortilla chips. We hope you'll use our previous virtual program on how to make guacamole and put them together for a delicious snack. Don't forget, from September 15th to October 15th, Brazier County Public Libraries will be celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with all kinds of virtual programs. Stay tuned for a slide on upcoming virtual programs, and we hope you enjoyed today's program. Thank you!